Hello and welcome back to Saucy Reviews here on Internet Nobodies. I'm your host, James, and this week we are going to be taking a look at probably the most popular hot sauce ever, it seems, Tabasco. Now, I don't remember liking Tabasco a whole lot. I haven't had the sauce in probably five plus years, so it has been a while. So I'm interested to see how well it stacks up then when I didn't like wasn't a huge fan of it versus now that I'm more experienced when it comes to the world of hot sauce. So first off though, I do want to point out it comes in this neat little box. I uh, I really like this. Honestly, I I haven't bought a bottle of Tabasco for myself ever. So this is one of my first experiences with the box. So I'm kind of excited about it. For great recipes and other food ideas, visit tabasco.com. And that's kind of interesting that it I uh, actually links you to a website that has ideas on it. I mean, obviously it is just to get them or just to get you rather onto their website, probably for ad revenue and whatnot. Ingredients, distilled vinegar, red pepper, and salt. Uh, so the red pepper in question are Tabasco peppers. Uh, they're heat wise, similar to the cayenne pepper, at least chemically, uh, it could obviously hit your palate differently. But yeah, it's pretty straight up. It's three ingredients. Yeah, it doesn't actually say it on the box. But uh, Tabasco was actually aged in barrels for like three years, if I remember right, on a... Uh, God, what's the island called? It's not Macalani. Avery Island, it says it right there. Yeah, manufactured by Macalani Company, Avery Island, Louisiana. I want to go there at one point. They do tours at the uh, Tabasco HQ, which is Avery Island. I do want to go there at some point. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun, even if I'm not the biggest fan of the sauce. But I'm definitely going to keep an open mind. Are you one of us? From the very beginning... Oh, I've actually never read this. I wanted to read it, but I wanted to save it for on camera. From the very beginning, 1868 to be exact, we knew Tabasco sauce was more than just heat. That's because, unlike other sauces that mask the flavor of food, Tabasco Original Red blends with every bite allowing our aged red peppers to amplify each flavor so the so you taste more of your food. So whether you shake a little or splash a lot, you're ready to turn ordinary meals into extraordinary ones. Taste the difference Tabasco can make on pizza, eggs, seafood, salad dressing, and more. And visit tabasco.com to purchase any of our pepper sauce family of flavors. So I did look at the website. There's a lot. I... Uh, Actually, there's probably not much. There's maybe 10 different varieties, which is kind of a lot, but it's neat to see. Shake some on and make your pizza supreme. Dress up the dressing like salad dressing. Crack open the flavor. Crack like eggs. And on top, this is the genuine article. E.M. Mackle... I don't know what the fuck that says. Anyways, let's open this up. So, first off, the bottles are way smaller than the others, which... Is unfortunate because last I checked uh, this is more expensive than the other ones I've tried so far oh interesting so the bottle even says something different for well over a century the adventurous flavor of Tabasco sauce has fired up generations of thrill seekers its ingredients and unique aging process in white oak barrels keep Tabasco on the culinary cutting edge try it on eggs pizza salads and any other foods for a burst of flavor that will tantalize your taste buds Shake well. <laughs> oh, there is a seal on this too. Same deal though. It has the perforated edges. So it comes easily off. Didn't even notice I had a seal on there. Hmm. So it does have a... Smaller opening, not necessarily a dropper, but it will limit the flow of sauce. The smell, though, has like a slightly fruity smell almost. Okay. 
I apologize about that sound. I can see the sound waves on the monitor that probably didn't sound great. That's after a lot of effort. This is not ideal for if you enjoy a lot of sauce, having such a small opening. So that's definitely a big negative in the way of Tabasco. But I guess that's enough to get, get a taste from. Gotta get a little bit more. Hmm. It's got good tang. It's got a fair amount of heat. But the flavor, it's on the fruity side. But I don't know, it's its not speaking to me. I gotta say, for one of the most popular hot sauces, this was, uh, this was not great. Maybe I can see what they were going for with it. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be less overbearing as far as the flavor goes. It's supposed to help spice up and amplify other foods. Which I guess I can see, I would have to experiment with that further. Maybe cook with it a little bit. As is though, I'm a little disappointed. Now there are a lot of other varieties of Tabasco sauce out there. I would be willing to give those a shot, absolutely. But the OG Tabasco, not that great. The heat on it is pretty good actually. I have uh, had a little bit of soda and it's still kicking. It's like spreading a little bit, which is kind of nice. I do like that. It has more of like an extracty burn though, more like on the surface. It's supposed to like a deeper burn, but you can probably hear it is making my mouth water a little bit, but overall, no. Tabasco could be better. And now that I have talked shit on one of the biggest hot sauces ever, thank you so much for watching the video. Please let us know what you think down below if you agree with me, which I'm sure you do. That's fine. I uh, be civil about it. And I and I will be civil back. I'll be civil back. I don't know about them. They don't watch my videos. Matthew and Terrell don't. Matthew kinda does. Anyways though, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Please leave any sauce recommendations down below. I'll try to respond to as many people as I can. I uh, and I will try some of them out as soon as I can get around to it. And I don't know. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.